Okay, Marie, I'll see you at I'll see you at practice. Thank you. Let's check out the sweet headlines. We will. Thanks, Marie. Oh man, these scouts are great. Now they're gonna make their hand go the other way. Oh. This sounds like fun. What? Tells me we're looking at a medley here, Chuck. You just never know where you're going to find the talent here. This is the um, this is the chronically shy women's support group here at festival, and uh, they get together and, and sing and dance and um, and jump back from each other like that. It's really cool. This is fun, Chuck. I love festivals. It's wacky. Is that nice? <laughs> Those gals are great. They do this like barber shop thing. Isn't it cool? Get your hot pasties. Let's find out. Pasties, come on. Pasty action. Hot pasty, right here. Hey, pasty man. Pasty man. Yeah. It's gonna tra pasty transactions going on here. Oh, we're gonna sell this gentleman a hot pasty from Northern Michigan. From Northern Michigan, isn't that uh, some kind of weird Cornish delicacy, sir? It actually is not a weird Cornish delicacy. That is delicacy. delicacy. That, that is the food that built Northern Michigan. The food that built Northern Michigan. I like that. You bet. Tell us what is a pasty, sir. Actually, the best way to know what a pasty is, is to try it. But actually, it's a Danish pasty. Try a pasty to put hair in your chest. That's right. It is a pasty. In the morning is good for anyone. Beef or chicken, a little uh, rutabaga, a little potato, and a beautifully light pot, uh, pasty. Past, pasty. Pasty. Pasty shell. Why does that Pasty shell. Mm, <laughs> pasty shell. Well, what's the like history of these crazy, wacky uh, concoctions? Actually, I think they uh, originated uh, in the settlers as they moved west in the United States, and it was something. <laughs> 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 Actually, I think it was rawhide, oh, okay. but actually it was a uh, way for the miners to keep a uh, nice hot lunch warm for many hours while they worked in the mines in northern Michigan and tore down our timber up there. Tore down our timber and yeah. brought the copper up from the bowels of the very earth. Yeah, that's right. Wonderful. And you're selling them here at Festival. Is this your, uh, how many years have you folks been selling these? I believe I'm going to have to defer to uh, how many years? Th second or third year? Third year. Third year here. They stay good for a long time. They they do. <laughs> and actually, we've we've known to buy fresh ones every year exactly. as well. Now, are these uh, made locally, or do you get them from the UP? Uh, actually, I think we uh, and our man in the street. Okay. Our man in the, where are we here? The yes, there we go. Where are we? Uh, Mr. Owens, you should be over here as the uh, expert of our group. Uh, what what 
Uh, do you ship these in from the UP, or do you have UP talent come down here and make them? We have That's a good leader. We have you. UP talent. They're award winners, as a matter of fact. Really? And we have a little plant that actually makes them for us. Uh huh. But they are in the middle of a move. So they had to they had to open everything up and make these just for us for a festival. Wonderful. And then they closed down for their move. That was very decent of them. Now let me ask you a question. How many years, sir, have you been volunteering here at festival? Uh, three. And what causes you to do that? Take your perfectly good time and come down here to festival? Uh, what your motivation? Well, I'll tell you. I got here about 9 o'clock yesterday morning. We left about quarter to 10 in the rain, freezing, cold. Right. And I haven't figured that, that answer out yet. <laughs> well, and this how, is the third. We've been here three years, and two out of three, it's rain. Really? Mm -hmm. Man. Must be the food. It's that UP food, you know. I guess. Yeah, I, I, guess I, th I think it's all the other food. Well, good luck. Best of luck to you. Pump those pasties. All right. They're, they're Take